Hi guys, this is Javeria and if you're watching me for the first time, go hit the subscribe button and like this video. So you all know that today on Instagram there are many thrift stores and many people have started a business as a business. Personally, I love that because now I'm paying less for something cute online that I was actually paying a lot for previously. And I honestly don't care if it's used as long as the condition looks good. Besides that, a lot of people are requesting me to upload more fashion related content. So this is why I decided to film today's video. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys everything that I bought from different thrift stores online. The prices are pretty reasonable. Not just that, I'll be giving you tips on how to style each one of those pieces. So let's get on with the video. This is spaghetti strap top, which is made out of velvet. It's the first piece that I got from thrift store. I actually wanted the other one that had a bit of an embroidery situation going on over it, but it was actually sold out, so I had to get something else. However, when I ordered this top, I did not know that the neck would be that deep or else I wouldn't have placed an order in the first place. So if you don't want weird men staring at your chest, please layer a shirt underneath it. For bottom, I've chosen these not so baggy jeans, which were pretty baggy when I ordered them. However, after I got them washed, they kind of shrunk, so. I'll be wearing the same jewelry because I'm too lazy to change, so please forgive me for that. Also, I have to get this video up by Sunday, so I don't really have enough time. For shoes, I'm going with these shiny, plasticky kind of shoes. Yeah, that makes no sense. Anyway, these were a love at first sight when I first bought them. However, they don't really fit my current aesthetics, so I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them. Also, this is the first time I'm actually wearing these because they looked pretty bad with the skinny jeans and I was hoping to get a straight pair of jeans to pair these up with and they look pretty good with these. For the second outfit, I decided to change these shiny plastic shoes to something more muted and I kept the rest of the outfit exactly the same. These cowboy boots were one of my recent finds and I am honestly obsessed with these. I don't know where I'll wear these but it helps to add a bit of a masculine silhouette to my entire outfit and I absolutely love the combination of bow with these boots. The next thing I bought was this pinafore dress. It's a pinafore dress, right? I don't know, shit, I suck at this. So I was supposed to wear this on my birthday, but I could not due to some stupid, dumb reason that I don't want to talk about right now because it's gonna mess up my mood. But anyway, one thing that I absolutely love about this dress is that it has this elastic thing underneath it and it kind of helps you decide where you want the dress to end. And if you want the dress to be a little bit puffy or not, I don't know if that makes sense or not, but uh, I hope you can look at the video and figure out what I'm trying to say. For shoes, I'm wearing these sandals that actually belong to my mom. Literally, my mom said that I was wearing these sandals that I was wearing these sandals that I was wearing sandals. I should be paying her for that, but what she doesn't realize is that I actually have no money. I'm literally unemployed right now. And if it wasn't for my parents, I would be surviving on catty chains and... Oh, huh, tea. Tea is very important. Shit, I need a job. The next thing I bought is this cute vintage cardigan. Honestly, this is my current aesthetic and a better way to define my aesthetic is that I would literally wear everything that is not in trend right now. I don't want to wear anything like this today, which I don't want to wear anything like this today. Yeah, that shows that my daddy and nanny pretty much have a better sense of style than me. To give it a more casual look, I'm going with these Fila disruptors that a lot of people actually hate because I think they don't know how to style them with a lot of outfits. But this is one way and it looks pretty cute.
To give this cardigan a fancy look, I'm going to be styling this with a lace high neck. I don't know if that's what it's called, but not sure. For jewelry, I'm gonna add this cute pearl necklace. I'm changing my baggy jeans to these Uniqlo ones that are a bit more tailored and go perfectly with this outfit. For shoes, I am keeping my mom's sandals on. Honestly, this outfit is very cute and amazing for when you're going out to a fancy tea party with your parents in winters. Except that we don't go for fancy tea parties and even if we did and I was wearing this outfit, I'm pretty sure people are gonna criticize me for being overdressed, which I absolutely hate. For outfit number five, I got this cute skirt that I wish was a tiny bit longer. For the modesty purpose, I am going to be layering this skirt with a pair of black opaque stockings. This sweater that I'm actually wearing belongs to my brother and he used to wear this bag when he was tiny as fuck. But I decided to keep it because I knew that this might turn out to be useful to me in the future and I wasn't wrong. For shoes, I'm going with these black Charles and Keith that perfectly blend with the black opaque stockings and makes my legs look longer. To finish the look, I'm adding this black beret to my already way too black outfit and now I'm ready to go to Paris. Or maybe not. That was Paris in a French pronunciation by the way. The last thing that I bought from a thrift store is this black leather coat that honestly has a very strong scent so I might sneeze a thousand times when I'll wear it but it's worth it. Just kidding, I'll get it right clean. I'll be showing you guys two ways to wear this coat. Number one, with a pair of blue Uniqlo jeans that I wore with the previous outfit. This black coat came with a black belt and it helps to cinch in the waist which gives it a bit more tailored look. For shoes, I'm gonna add these Charles and Keats again and yeah, that's the complete look. The second way you can actually wear this is with a pair of black opaque stockings. Technically, you're going to wear this like a dress. To finish off the look, again, I'm going to add this black beret. Anyway, that was all for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you need more fashion related content, leave a comment down below and I'll start working on that. So yeah, bye bye. Also, please forgive me because I'll be wearing the same jewelry with every other outfit because I have to get this video up on Sunday because I have to get this video up because I have because I have to get this video up by Sunday and I do not have enough time to constantly change.